Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, feeling more like a summer night, but not for long. The humidity is still high. Temperatures are in the 70s. And even with a cold front coming through right now, the leading edge of eventually cooler air, it's not scaring up any showers. Take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. So it is still quiet. And just the outside chance of an isolated shower or sprinkle next, say, couple of hours. The front's located right now in the northern part of the state. It'll be sweeping through uh, during the overnight hours. So that approaching cold front, the air behind it is dry, so the humidity levels later tonight. And you'll notice it when you get up tomorrow morning, step outside. The moisture, the humidity not nearly as high. And that'll set up for a cooler stretch of weather. Talking about daytime highs, upper 60s, low 70s. And nighttime temperatures pretty cool in the low 50s. And the chance for a couple of showers uh, over the weekend, but the weekend will also feature some sunshine as well. We'll talk about that in just a second. Downtown Providence, mostly cloudy, mild and humid, still at 72 on a west southwest breeze at 6. Humidity high 91%. You'll know when the cold front comes through because the wind will uh, shift from west southwest to more north northwest. The northwest wind direction is a drier wind direction. Once that direction kicks in, the first thing you'll notice, the humidity starts to drop off hour by hour. So then you step outside tomorrow morning, it's a brand new air mass. It feels more like early autumn. So temps now in most areas are in the lower 70s, tracking that cold front now across the eastern New England and uh, sweeping offshore during the overnight. Temperatures behind the front have cooled off. You can see across upstate New York, readings now in the mid and upper 50s. Let me widen out the view. And you can see that expansive area of cool air from the Great Lakes in the Ohio River Valley and we've shaded these uh, cooler temperatures in green and light blue and you can see that huge mass back here and that'll fall right on top of us tomorrow and extend through the weekend so it is very comfortable and cooler. Future cast starts off at around 11 o'clock perhaps an isolated sprinkle if that then skies are clearing out the numbers are going down so by 7 a.m. Uh, low 50s and up in the north of Providence so pretty cool upper 50s along the south shore. Now plenty of sunshine getting to work and it does warm up but it is on the cool side daytime highs topping out between roughly 70 and 73 by three four o'clock in the afternoon and then tomorrow evening tomorrow night a very cool night almost light jacket weather uh, good news uh, high school football games it looks uh, real comfortable with the uh, clear sky so tomorrow morning waking up to sunshine cool conditions 11 a.m. It's only 65, but then during the afternoon, topping out in the low 70s, very comfortable. Threat tracker looks promising where we kind of look ahead to as far as any adverse or severe weather. We certainly don't see that over the next couple of days, so kind of quiet. Seven day future cast reflects that. Now, Saturday is not a washout. In fact, it starts off with sunshine on Saturday morning, but you'll notice the clouds on the increase and the showers were timing for late afternoon and especially Saturday evening, Saturday night. Fortunately, it's a progressive weather system. It won't stall, so it's out of here on Sunday. Sunshine, dry, breezy, cool and comfortable with uh, afternoon temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s, and that pleasant weather will extend into Monday of next week. So beautiful tomorrow, Saturday a half and half day, and Sunday looks nice. It's going to be really refreshing, I think, to yeah. have those kind of temperatures around. Good sleeping weather. All right, Tony, <laughs> thanks. Much more to